Darren with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder, remodeler in North Carolina. Got a Bosch drill that I'm going to test. Definitely not a new one. It's a, it's brand new out of the box, but uh, it's still in the box too. Let me get it. Got to get the table set up first, then we'll get it. All right. So I'm going to try to justify to use why I'm still running Bosch. Started with this guy right here. And this is the first Bosch. Uh, no, we had a rotary hammers. And rotary hammers, I think Bosch makes fantastic. And that's all we run is rotary, uh, Bosch rotary hammers. Uh, this little 12 volt is, has been far surpassed by almost every company out there. I mean, the new, the new Bo uh, DeWalt Milwaukee's just fly past it. But, this is still kept its size. The only thing that I think that's close to this is the Makita. So if you look at this, let me get it lined up. It's almost three quarters, I mean inch and three quarters. Yeah, it's probably inch and three quarters difference in height. And that's the smallest battery you can get in the Dewalt. So that's the height difference. Now that it does have a, uh, an advantage right there as far as the Dewalt being shorter. But I will say the Milwaukee is the same length and it's the it's actually longer than this. I'm talking about the 12 volt fuel. I looked around here, I couldn't find it. Uh, fantastic drill, but it's kind of bulky 12 volt drill. It's not something you're gonna throw in your pouch because they're heavy, they are. So for me, I'm wanting something really lightweight for cabinet work, hinges, handles, uh, fixtures, anything like that. That's why I'm running this. But that's not the main reason. This is the main reason. The light, the light, the light. Well, you're, you're saying, well, Darren, you're invested in it. No, it's because these are the best lights out there. Bosch 12 volt jigsaw. Put a Collins coping foot on there. You, you don't need a 18 volt, 24 volt uh, cope. As far as I know, the only 18 volt, or no, I'm sorry, the only 12 volt uh, planer that's out there. One handed planer. So when you put all this together, and we own a bunch more Bosch 12 volt things, but these right here are a reason why to be in that uh, 12 volt Bosch drill. That's why I went ahead and bought this. I've had my eye on it for quite a while. Uh, well, you know what? Let me get it out. Okay. So let's take a look inside this bag right here. It comes with a charger. Can't imagine that being a very small or fast charger, but it's uh, I like it. I like the size of it. These are all the different heads that come with it. This is the GSR 12 volt 140FC. Um, so I already have one attached right there. And how you do it. The locking mechanism always has to be pointed towards the top and then you turn it clockwise when that locks it in. These right here are multiple, you can multi, uh, position it any, any direction you want, but the locking mechanism needs to be pointed at the top. For example, like that. Let's say I want to put this straight down. Uh, position that straight down, spin the locking mechanism allows me to engage it then I turn it clockwise and it's locked in this particular head right here the 90 degree head um, requires you that you put another attachment on the face of it whether it's this or the standard chuck or this offset and I'm assuming the locking mechanism needs to be pointed towards the top of that. Yep, and now it's cracked. Now, I've already ran this off camera, and I will tell you that I am uh, just totally, totally surprised at how smooth it is. I want you to understand, you're going through 90 degrees, then you're going through this offset, and it is really, really smooth. So, why that matters to me, <laughs> beyond uh, 
just fact what well, it just stands out that it's going to be a quality well-made a uh, tool it's it's there's weight to these too i wasn't expecting the how heavy the, these would be it's not heavy that it's um going to burden you or basically be too heavy to where you can't use a tool but it's going to last you can tell that that's a very well made uh 90 and then this offset the chuck even the chuck seems well made i it wouldn't surprise me this is the bit or the end attachment that i have on this drill most for the most part because that's what i typically run now i didn't for the longest time but they're getting those to a higher standard i'm not talking about this i'm talking about the actual bits so I'm okay with running it. Used to be when they first came out. Let me bring my attachment over. These right here used to be, they all were wobbling. The drill bits were not in the center or for what have you, but it seems like the newer ones run pretty true. Okay, let's get on to performance. First off, these are all the holes that we've already drilled. We got this end down here. Do, 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 do. You know what that means. What does that mean? We already know who's gonna win. Yes, we do. We do already know who's gonna win, but that's besides the point. We're, we're not here over a winner. We're just, since this is not, this drill is not. It's not a winning who, drill. It's, it's not, I don't know. It's not a winning drill. It's a finish drill. It's a drill to get your jobs done and get them professionally done and yeah i mean you wouldn't want to drive an ass car to go to the groceries actually i would that would be awesome You're like you do realize you'd have to slide through the door <laughs> <laughs> that would be that'd be stupid but it'd be worth it okay so um let's get back to the the drill concerning the you know you ever you ever go into those places and you see screws that are like up on a angle and you're like oh did they really have to run that up? I mean, it's right out and visibly. You got a cabinet screw that has a decent sized shoulder. That thing needs to be run right in. That's where this guy would shine right here. I was actually gonna put it on. So let, let's get this thing, because we're gonna do some tests with, um, with an auger and show you where this thing really shines. That again? We just did that ca uh, cabinet job where this would have been perfect right up at the top. Yes, it would. Yeah, it would. So, um, I could, I could see the chuck. I think the chuck is going to be the least used thing in this. It would surprise me. This, this and these two heads are going to be used a ton. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get set up. Okay. We both have three quarter inch spades. I'll go when you tell me to go. All right, go. Definitely not gonna win any races. Uh, you know what? That's fine. It, it went through fine. Yeah. Oh -ho! Did you slow down that time? Uh, I think it's dull. Whatever. I, don't know, I had a nod or something. Let's do it again. I gotta take my win when I can get it. Ready? Go! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no! Serious? I went down to one. Oh, it was through. Oh, no. Ready? Go. Oh. Okay, let me get, let me get. You moved to another spot. That's not very much behind. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay. You're definitely beating me. You're definitely beating me. Um... But the DeWalt, 
the Dewalt's a champion. It's not even nothing else. They have the one inch. I could probably cut the Nothing's even up. close. Um, I will show. I will share. Show you. Uh, let me. Yeah, we even got this pig out here. It'll handle a one inch spade. Which one? Oh, uh, the Bosch. They all will. Yeah. Of course they will, but it does okay. That's fine. Uh -huh. Nothing wrong with that. Um, all right, let's move on to our right angles. Finally, I got a place to really shine. Go ahead and put your right angle on your Dewalt. Oh, my drill's so much faster. Uh huh. You say rude? <laughs> We're gonna see. Okay. So. Now the last time we did this, he wanted to put gloves on. Cause he's like, oh, you're gonna do it again. So, I may go one hand, oh, hold on. I'm gonna tweak this, I'm gonna run it a little bit. I almost think maybe I could run the one inch. Okay, so I don't mean to be silly, but I'm gonna go ahead and just lean my elbow on. He's gonna do all his thing. I'm just gonna hold it here. <laughs> I, I ain't getting anywhere near you, because this thing could be violent. You ready? Yeah. Go! Any day now. So this thing is awesome. Um, now I think Milwaukee has their version of this thing now. Yeah, because they could do the the handle, the handle, which that kind of looked cool. Mm -hmm. It did. Does Dewalt have this combination set yet? I think so. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, this this is a one-handed. Well, pretty much is a one-handed thing. Not that contraption. That thing. That's if you. That's a widowmaker right there, almost. So, um, I thought that this was. I did not realize these were all going to be metal. I just, for some reason, I thought they were going to be plastic or something that would be similar to the housing. I think this is all, um, it's some type of aluminum and uh, the, the heads are all metal. It seemed very well built. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. I am. I think it's going to be uh, pretty nice. I just have to figure out how, how, to, how I'm going to hold these heads in the van from wandering around <laughs> what yeah. a dilemma what a dilemma and I'm gonna steal this bag. you want the bag yeah. cheers okay so man this I, I was just saying about this is where this really shines because being able to run through Right horizontally, 100% horizontally on running this through. cabinet my table is not set up 
for me to be pushing this hard on it. Oh no, it's got something underneath of it that's stopping me. There we go. I cannot believe that. I'm through. Let's go over and check out the other side. <laughs> Check out that hole. It is 100% flat. Let me go over to the other side. So I think that attests to the quality of it too. Um, I never thought when I ordered this that I'd be able to run a, a spade through it. And so, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm keeping it. So, see ya.